In today's world, our planet faces a growing crisis, and that is waste. Mountains of plastic engulf landfills, leaching harmful chemicals into the soil and water. Marine life is choked by plastic debris, while terrestrial animals suffer from habitat loss and ingestion of toxic materials. Globally, we humans generate around 11 billion tonnes of solid waste every year. While making this video, the world has already generated 8.5 billion tonnes of solid waste for this year, that is 2024. If the total waste generated is divided for each individual, it comes to around 1.4 tonnes of waste for each individual each year. That might be very surprising for you, but that is the truth. Out of the entire waste generated, around 1.5 billion tonnes of waste is dumped into landfills and water bodies every year. Different sources of waste contribute to the overall waste generation. Waste generated by households such as food waste, papers, plastics, etc. contributes around 24% to the total waste generation. The waste generated by the industries contributes around 24%. Construction and demolition waste account for 36% of the total waste generated. Commercial wastes contribute around 11%. Waste generated due to energy production is around 3%. If I have to tell you the reason behind so much trash generation, the list will be long. Although it is a long list, it is worth mentioning so that you are better aware of this important topic. Here we go. Primary contributors are industrialization and economic growth, urbanization and population growth, consumerism, disposable culture, single-use products, food spoilage, technological advancements, agricultural and medical waste. Now, I must make you understand the diverse nature of waste so that you get an idea of how to manage it effectively. Organic waste includes food scraps and yard trimmings, which can pose hazards if not managed properly. Recyclables like paper, glass, metals and certain plastics can be transformed into new products. Proper sorting and clean processing are crucial to recycling efficacy. Organic waste plays a crucial role in our ecosystems. Composting allows us to harness the nutrient-rich potential of organic matter, reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers. However, not all organic waste is created equal. Understanding composting nuances is key. Proper composting minimizes potential drawbacks like pests and odors. You will also be surprised to know that only 14% of the total generated waste is recycled globally. Recycling transforms discarded materials into valuable resources, reducing environmental impact. Metals can be melted down and recast, conserving energy and reducing mining activities. Paper recycling helps preserve forests and glass can be melted and reformed indefinitely. Proper sorting and adherence to guidelines are essential for recycling success. Now let us understand some of the most insidious dangers of waste that lurk unseen. Hazardous materials in regular trash can leach into soil and groundwater, polluting drinking water sources. Improper waste disposal can attract disease-carrying pests and release harmful pollutants into the air. The health impacts of air pollution are severe, especially for vulnerable populations. Hazardous waste poses significant risks due to its toxic, corrosive, flammable or reactive properties. Batteries, pesticides and cleaning agents are examples of hazardous materials in our waste streams. Direct exposure can cause immediate health problems, while long-term exposure can lead to chronic issues. Proper handling and disposal of hazardous waste are imperative to prevent contamination. Now, let's talk about e-waste. The digital age has given rise to electronic waste or e-waste. E-waste contains valuable and hazardous materials. Improper disposal can lead to environmental contamination. Informal processing of e-waste in developing countries poses direct risks to workers. Waste segregation empowers us to divert valuable resources from landfills and reduce contamination. This is something that we all can do to contribute our bit to overall change. 
Establishing a system within our homes with separate bins for different waste streams can streamline the process. Clear labelling and accessible compost bins encourage proper waste separation. Plastics present a unique challenge due to their slow decomposition rates and potential for contamination. Not all plastics are recyclable. Understanding different plastic categories is crucial. Checking local guidelines helps determine which plastics are accepted for recycling. Proper waste segregation is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Reducing consumption, opting for reusable alternatives and supporting sustainable businesses are crucial steps. Embracing reduce, reuse, recycle and advocating for systemic change paves the way for a sustainable future. Over 2 billion tonnes of municipal solid waste are generated globally each year. High-income countries generate a disproportionate share of global waste, reflecting higher consumption levels. Low-income countries often lack the infrastructure to manage waste effectively, leading to environmental pollution. The global waste landscape is a tapestry woven from economic disparity, consumption patterns and waste management capacity. Now let's talk about different regions contributing towards waste generation, zooming in on specific regions. We encounter a mosaic of waste generation patterns, each shaped by unique cultural, economic and demographic factors. East Asia and the Pacific region, home to some of the world's most populous nations, emerge as the largest waste generators, accounting for approximately 25% of the global total. Rapid urbanization, industrialization, and rising living standards in this region have fueled a surge in waste generation, posing significant challenges for waste management systems. North America, while home to a much smaller population, follows closely behind, generating roughly 14% of global waste. The throwaway culture prevalent in the United States, characterized by high levels of consumption and a preference for convenience over durability, contributes significantly to this high waste output. Europe, with its strong environmental regulations and emphasis on waste reduction and recycling, fares comparatively better, generating around 12% of global waste. Sub-Saharan Africa, the region with the lowest waste generation rates per capita, still faces significant challenges in managing its waste. Rapid population growth, coupled with limited access to waste collection and disposal services, often results in uncontrolled dumping and open burning of waste, posing significant risks to human health and the environment. Understanding these regional variations in waste generation is essential for developing targeted interventions and fostering international cooperation in addressing this global challenge. Delving deeper into the waste stream, we encounter a mix of materials, each with its own environmental impacts. Organic waste, mainly food scraps and yard trimmings, makes up the largest fraction of global waste. Plastics, emblematic of our throwaway culture, comprise roughly 12% of global waste. Paper and cardboard now account for about 17% of global waste. Glass and metal, both highly recyclable, represent smaller fractions of the waste stream. Understanding our waste composition is essential for effective management strategies. By identifying key materials, we can prioritise interventions like composting and recycling. As we've journeyed through the daunting realities of the global waste crisis, from its sheer scale to its intricate composition, one might be forgiven for succumbing to a sense of despair. Yet amidst these challenges, glimmers of hope emerge, shining a light on innovative solutions and inspiring success stories from around the world. Waste management, far from being a monolithic endeavour, encompasses a spectrum of approaches, each tailored to the unique circumstances and resources of a given region. In some parts of the world, traditional practices rooted in centuries-old wisdom offer sustainable solutions that resonate with local cultures and ecosystems. Take, for instance, the concept of zero waste, often practised in communities with limited access to formal waste management systems. Here, Resourcefulness reigns supreme, with materials being reused, repurposed and recycled at every opportunity. 
Food scraps are composted, discarded clothing is mended and repurposed, and packaging is kept to a minimum. In more developed nations, technological advancements are paving the way for sophisticated waste management systems. Automated sorting facilities powered by artificial intelligence can separate different types of plastics, metals and other recyclables with remarkable accuracy, increasing recycling rates and reducing contamination. Anaerobic digestion, a process that harnesses the power of microorganisms to break down organic waste in the absence of oxygen, is gaining traction as a sustainable alternative to landfilling. This process not only reduces greenhouse gas emissions, but also produces biogas, a renewable energy source, and digestate, a nutrient-rich fertilizer. Let's explore some exemplary case studies in waste management. Sweden, a global leader in sustainability, has decoupled economic growth from waste generation. With policy measures and public awareness, Sweden boasts a 99% recycling rate. Its infrastructure includes recycling stations, composting facilities and waste-to-energy plants. Singapore's Zero Waste Master Plan aims to reduce waste and extend landfill lifespan. Central to this plan is a circular economy approach, maximizing resource efficiency. Rwanda, with limited resources, has made significant strides in waste management. Since banning plastic bags in 2008, Rwanda has reduced plastic pollution. Monthly community cleanup days foster collective environmental responsibility. These examples share a commitment to innovation and collaboration in waste management. As we reach the end of our exploration into the world of waste, it's clear that this is not merely a tale of environmental degradation, but a story of human impact and the urgent need for collective action. The sheer scale of global waste generation, the stark disparities in its distribution and the far-reaching consequences of its mismanagement demand our immediate attention. From the sprawling landfills that scar our landscapes to the microscopic plastic particles infiltrating our ecosystems, the evidence of our unsustainable practices surrounds us. We've witnessed the dangers posed by hazardous waste, the health risks associated with improper disposal and the sheer volume of valuable resources lost to the void. Yet amidst these challenges, we've also encountered a spirit of resilience, a global tapestry of innovation and determination to forge a more sustainable path. We've seen how nations, communities and individuals are rising to the occasion embracing solutions ranging from ancient wisdom to cutting-edge technology. The success stories we've explored are not isolated triumphs, but rather beacons of hope, illuminating the path towards a world where waste is not a burden, but a resource, a testament to the power of human ingenuity and collaboration. The task before us is not merely to manage waste, but to transform our relationship with it, to view it not as an inevitable byproduct of progress, but as a challenge we can and must overcome. The journey towards a sustainable future begins with a fundamental shift in perspective, a recognition that our actions, however small they may seem, have far-reaching consequences. The choices we make every day, from the products we buy to the way we dispose of them, collectively shape the world we live in. Embracing a minimalist mindset, prioritizing quality over quantity, and opting for reusable alternatives to single-use plastics are not merely trendy lifestyle choices, but rather essential steps towards reducing our environmental footprint. By supporting businesses that prioritize sustainability and advocating for policies that promote responsible waste management, we can contribute to a paradigm shift moving away from a linear take-make-dispose model towards a circular economy where resources are valued, reused and kept in circulation. The transition to a zero-waste society will undoubtedly require collective effort, collaboration across borders and a shared commitment to innovation and knowledge sharing. We must empower future generations with the knowledge and tools to make sustainable choices fostering a sense of environmental stewardship from an early age. 
This is not a burden to bear, but an opportunity to seize, a chance to rewrite our relationship with the planet and create a future where economic prosperity goes hand in hand with environmental well-being. The power to create this future lies within each of us. Let us choose wisely for the sake of our planet and generations to come. Here, I would like to end the video and wish you a very happy and healthy life.